I'm the author of 404, which needs to solve escape room like puzzles in order to make progress. And I should say the book is actually available in two editions. This is the original Kickstarter edition, and then this is the regular edition, which became available about almost a year later on Amazon. So I'm going to look at both books where they vary. But this is going to be a series of videos in which I go through and show how to solve and how to go about solving each of the puzzles in the book. I'll start by giving some hints and then I'll work through to actually a full solution of each of the puzzles. So here's the original Kickstarter book um, and it opens with some text from Plato's The Republic which ends with but is not worn art certainly and there is in fact a hidden puzzle on this page um, and then it says welcome to the kingdom so you are in the kingdom of states and this is a book where you've been sent and it's a little bit menacing because it says where we always know your name and uh, this is also a hidden puzzle this, this uh, spread and it says, in order to make your visit to the Kingdom of States as enjoyable as possible, please be sure to obey all laws and follow all rules as posted. In case of uncertainty, we have eliminated access to content of no relevance to your visit. This will guarantee a pleasant stay. It's kind of them, isn't it? Should you struggle to adapt to our way of life, a corrections assistant is available online to adapt your conduct as appropriate. So that's a mildly menacing flavour text, but also it's suggesting that there are hints available online, as in fact there are, as you can see over here. There's a get a hint button, I'm making it flash. Um, there we go, right, instructions to visitors. 404 has arrived from an anonymous sender and it's your job to find the hidden messages they've concealed within its pages. Oh, by the way, there's a hidden puzzle on this page too. To avoid interception by the authorities, none of the messages are given explicitly and it's up to you to work out how to solve each puzzle. As you progress, you'll discover more about the Kingdom of States and the shadowy organisation known as the Republic. Each code has a fixed answer, which is always made up of one or more words. They are always words that can be found in the dictionary or name, and this is an irrelevant occasion, it would have been familiar to Plato. That's just to cover some far fun themed stuff for the book. Multi-word answers form reasonably coherent phrases, so you're not going to get like elephant window plate or something. There is also one code which does in fact use digits in its answer, but that'll be obvious. No other answer does. The exact number of words is always given by the underlines. So you know what you're looking for. You know it's going to make a little bit of sense. It's not going to be random digits. It's not going to be random words. It's all going to fit together. Most of the time, you'd be therefore be reasonably sure you have the correct answer as soon as you solve a puzzle, but you can verify your answer and get help on the website, which you can always jump to by scanning the barcodes. And I'm going to pop up on the corner of the screen. So it looks like this when you go to a code and you can type in your answer or you can get a hint. So for example, if I was to get a hint on the very first puzzle, it will say reverse the system, what system? Well, we'll have to get on to the first puzzle and you'll see what that is referring to. So here we go. The website will also reveal additional story elements as you progress, but it is not required in order to solve the puzzles. You can solve entirely offline if you wish, although occasionally you may need external references, but you'll probably know if you do, and I think that only applies really to one puzzle. Anyway, there we go. So here we go, it says reverse the system, and there's a picture of a reflected city, or sort of mostly reflected, and then some text that can't be read here. This is what you're supposed to be decoding, and by here it says, we need you. Just a statement of what the people who've sent the book are telling you. At the bottom, we know it's code one, and we're looking for three words. And you might also notice there's a little asterisk in front of system, which you're supposed to realize refers you down to the asterisk here that says communication. There's also this box here with an eye in it, which is not part of this puzzle. It's for a later puzzle in the book, but some people find that confusing, which is fair enough. Uh, because they, particularly because the eyes under the T, it does look like maybe they go together. That's they don't. And similarly, the we need you doesn't specifically correspond to these words. They just happen to have three words on both sides. So, in the revised version of the book that I put on Amazon, where I took out accidental red herrings, uh, it's exactly the same at the start. But once we get to the puzzle, I have removed these words here, placed them with question marks, which hopefully motivates better that you're supposed to be decoding these three words. And notice that this is white, this is black, it's the opposite. You, everything's reversed. Um, and I've got rid of this box, I moved that box to another page so it wouldn't confuse you. And of course, if you looked ahead, you would see there are more of these square boxes on other pages, like this one here, for example. But on the first puzzle, you probably haven't looked ahead, you probably wouldn't understand that. Why would you? So let's try solving it. Reverse the system. Right, what are we reversing? So something's got to go backwards or back to front in some way. And there are various ways you could interpret that. You could try swapping black and white, literally, but that not, isn't going to help you because really there's very little to decode on here. There's some, some random noise in the background, but this isn't really coherent. There's a lot of it. So I think we can fairly just uh, decide this is just background text. It carries on the theme in front of the cover. Um, 
and the barcode is specifically for taking you to the website, or you can just type it in if you prefer. Um, so what are we to do? What, what can we reverse? Reverse the communication system. Now what I wanted you to realise here is that when you communicate, you're communicating by speech or via writing. And on this page, there's writing, there's no speech. So we're trying to reverse our written communication system. One way to interpret this would be to read each one backwards, but you can immediately see this isn't going to make any sense. By zooming on these, you can see that they are they're nonsense. QLRM, GSV, and then Ivka for Yorks. What, what does that mean? What we can work out, though, is that there are three of them and there are three words. So it's a reasonable guess that each of these turns into another word. And now, you don't know for sure, but it's also a reasonable guess that this will be a four-letter word, this will be a three-letter word, and this will be a seven-letter word. So what do we do? Well, the communication system I wanted you to think of was the alphabet A to Z. And what I want you to do is reverse A to Z so that A becomes Z, B becomes Y, and so on, through to Z becoming A. It's called an at bash cipher. If you look at the hints in the app, the first hint is reverse the system. What system? If I take another hint, it becomes the asterisk with four system points to the word communication, making the full prompt reverse communication system. So this is what I've already said. Um, I will skip through the hints that say what I've already said. And you see, using the hints, even if you don't understand what I wanted you to realise for this puzzle, it doesn't really matter. You can take a hint. It will guide you through the thought process that I want you to follow to solve the puzzle. And that's true of all the puzzles in the book. You can go through a series of hints. There are lots of puzzles. Every single one has its own design. There's nothing repeated in here. It's fully designed on every single page. And generally speaking, everything has a purpose. So we've got a hint, a reverse A to Z. So there we go. It's told us what to do. And let's try that ourselves. So if we have the alphabet here, I'll write it out for clarity. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. And because we are mapping backwards, we actually can just start writing it backwards here. We don't need to write out the whole alphabet twice because an at bash code is, re is reversible. A becomes Z, but equally Z becomes A. B becomes Y, but equally Y becomes B. So this is all I need to do. Now we have Q. And Q, as you can see, becomes a J, and L becomes an O, and R becomes an, where's R here, <laughs> becomes an I, and M becomes an N. So our first word is join, and that looks pretty much like it should be correct, doesn't it? If it had come out as random letters like we have here, we'd think we were wrong. But this is, this is looking good, so we can be pretty confident, but on the right lines. And then G is T, and S is H, and V is E. And then here we have I is R, V is E, and so on. It actually spells join the Republic. And it was the Republic who had written to us at the start of the book. Here we go, that's the Republic. And here, this is from a shadowy organization known as the Republic. So we've joined, solved that puzzle. And now what we can do is we can pop onto the website and see if we're correct. So we know it's three words. Let's see if they are. Join the Republic. Yes, they are. Congratulations. Oh, we have an incoming message. We are glad you received our book. They are watching and we must be discreet. Our transmissions are monitored, so we will communicate via concealed messages. Join us. We are the Republic and we need your help. Ends. So there we go. A little bit of a story is released every so often as you solve the book. And um, if you get right to the end, you get to the end of the story. What well, do you? It turns out there's actually a hidden puzzle that runs all the way through the book as it's hinted at the back. Um, because you see, it says we've relayed these 60 messages. Well, as you'll note, the final puzzle is 56. In fact, there's more like 64, I think, or something like that. I don't quite remember the exact amount. But there's a lot more puzzles that meet the eye in that book, including the hidden meta puzzle that runs all the way through the book to form a large overall secret puzzle. Well, there we go. That is the 404 book, and that is the solution and working through the first puzzle. And what I plan to do now is record a series of videos, one for each puzzle. Some of them are a bit quicker to solve than others, but I think that probably because some of them are reasonably involved, it's probably best to do one video per puzzle. It also makes it easier to find the hints or solution for a video that I've posted without spoiling yourself on the rest of the book. So um, click around. Uh, there'll be some playlists at the end, probably by here, showing you uh, so where the rest of the uh, my walkthroughs are for this book. And by here, behind the book, there are some links to some of my other videos too. So I hope to see you in another video. Take care. Bye.